Look at that. Four of the tastiest radishes I've ever seen. Oh, yummy. Radish. <gasps> Cottontail, you don't just gobble down a hole like this. First you trim the leaves. Then you <laughs> sniff. <laughs> and then you... Peter. Quick, hide them under the cushions. If Mum sees them, she'll know we were in Miss McGregor's garden. Hmm. Now, my dears, having a nice morning, are we? Uh, uh, yes, Mum. Yes, Auntie. Lovely weather. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Been getting up to mischief in Mr McGregor's garden? Yeah, uh, no. I hope not. You know how dangerous that place can be. Radishes? Oh. <laughs> Cottontail. <laughs> Don't worry, Mum. We'd much rather be somewhere nice and safe. <laughs> <laughs> Safe enough to eat our radishes, that is. Let's hop to it. This is the perfect spot. Ready to eat? <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Hello, boys. <gasps> oh, phew. Lily, it's only you. Florence and I were just taking the laundry to Mrs Tiggywinkle's, weren't we, Florence? Oh, radishes. I've heard about those. Don't tell me you've never seen a radish before. No. Are they as nice as everyone says they are? Huh? Shh! <gasps> Ever get that feeling someone is watching you? I do. Maybe someone is after your radishes. What you need is a secret place to eat them. Oh, I know where. Quick! Hide them in here. Follow me. Do you think we lost them? I think so. What? I I meant to do that. This is the perfect place to eat the radishes. Let's get munching. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> the radishes! <laughs> <gasps> well, pluck my spines. If it isn't Peter Rabbit and Benjamin and Lily too, if you please. And what brings you three youngsters to my door? Morning, Mrs Tiggywinkle. We just thought, uh, we thought we could help you with the laundry. Oh. Oh, oh my tummy. Oh. Someone must have eaten them. Oh, imagine. Have you seen them? Oh, oh, have you? Have you? Oh, oh, whatever has happened to my freshly baked oat cakes? You're oat okay. What oat cakes, Mrs. Puddle Duck? Only oh. the sweetest, crumbliest, oat cakeiest oat cakes I ever did bake. Uh. They must have fallen out of my basket on the way to Ooh. the river. Oh, someone did eat them. Imagine. Yes, imagine eating someone else's oat cakes. Mr. Todd took them. <gasps> oh, oh my, oh dearie me, oh my. Well, there's only one thing to be done. I should have words with that thieving fox right away. Phew, I thought we were in trouble there for sure. Jemima Puddle Duck's the one in trouble. She's heading to Mr Todd's. And foxes eat ducks. <gasps> yeah, this is bad, very bad. I didn't think she'd go looking for him. We've got to stop her. Stole my oat cakes. The chick. I'm going to give that fox a piece of my mind. I say, stop making this infernal hullabaloo. Oh, and what do we have here? I will make a hullabaloo, what's it, Mr Todd? You ate my oat cakes without asking. Oat cakes? Ugh. Too plain for me. I'm more of a meat eater. Ah, now it's no use telling fibs, Mr. Top. But my dear Jemima, 
To have one's precious oatcake stolen must be exceedingly distressing. Oh, it is exceedingly early. So please, let me cook you a brand new batch. It's the very least I can do for such a fair lady. Oh, well, you are a gentleman. And here I was thinking you're a no-good, Nick. What a silly. <laughs> mm. 